And hi, well, this is Francisco from One Assure Doctor Phone. In our channel, you can learn super useful tech tips and find the latest tech reviews. And in today's video, I will be teaching you three methods to going ahead and fixing an iPad that's stuck on the Apple logo. So let's go ahead and dive right in. An iPad can get stuck on an Apple logo for many reasons. Usually, the iPad stuck on, on the Apple logo occurs when the iOS software is experiencing some downtime. And this is often referred to as a software crash, and it may very well be responsible for your iPad being frozen at the Apple logo. If your iPad software does get corrupted due to jailbreaking, this is a possibility and something that could actually happen, as a startup routine will actually get affected as well, and this can definitely cause this to happen. Many a times background operations in an iPad prevents it from turning on until and unless such operations cease to exist. In addition, corrupted apps, files, and data can lead to similar problems, and no matter what the cause is, the solutions given below will fix the iPad stock on Apple logo error on your device. So yeah, just go ahead, hang tight, and let's go ahead and begin with the very first method. For restarting an iPad, if it is stuck on the Apple logo screen, will usually help out when it comes to this kind of issue. It does not result in any kind of data loss and fixes most of the iOS issues within a few seconds, even if they're not related to the crash itself, it could still help in some way. So go ahead and force restart your iPad. I simply go ahead and press the sleep wake button and the home button simultaneously, and then go ahead and wait for the screen to light up, and then the Apple logo will reappear again. But this time, your iPad should boot up normally and then you should be back on your home screen just as expected. And if we're restarting and can't fix the issue, uh, then we're actually going to go ahead and rely on our old friend Dr. Phone, which is a special piece of software that we host. You can go ahead and find the download links in the description and it's one that is going to be very helpful here in particular. So step one, after you've gone ahead and downloaded it, it's just for you to go ahead and launch the app and then click on system repair to fix the iPad suck on the Apple logo screen and then we can go ahead and proceed seed from there. And now using a lightning cable, connect your iPad to your computer, the one that is stuck on your Apple logo, and then click on standard mode. And that is actually not going to erase any data after fixing it. And there are some things to keep into consideration, of course, when you're going through with this method. If the iPad is not detected, go ahead and click on and device is connected but not recognized. And then follow the on-screen instructions. This is going to be the most important step in the entire process where you need to boot your iPad in DFU mode. And the method to boot an iPad into DFU mode is similar to that of an iPhone. And thus, I just go ahead and follow the guidelines on the screenshot below. The instructions are going to vary depending on which iPad model you're using. And then just get back onto your PC on the toolkits interface and just type in your iPad model number and things like that and the software version that you were on and then go ahead and click on start. And then just wait for the software to install on your iPad, which will take a few minutes. So just go ahead and wait patiently. It's totally fine. And once the newest firmware is downloaded and installed on your iPad, the toolkit starts to do its job and it's going to fix the iPad being stuck on the Apple logo, which is pretty cool. The fact that it does that all on its own. And when the toolkit has finished fixing your uh, your iDevice of choice, whether it's your iPhone or in this case an iPad, it's going to automatically start up uh, without it being stuck on the Apple logo. So you should just expect it to restart. And then from there, you should be pretty good to go. And then the second thing that I wanted to note here is actually that we recommend Dr. Phone System Repair iOS because it is easy and very intuitive to use. And also this software is going to assist you in downloading and installing uh, the latest version of iOS. Hence, if we go through with this method, you will end up with the latest version of iOS once the issue is actually resolved on your iDevice. So yeah. I strongly recommend that. And now we can actually move on to method number three. Now you can also use Apple's official tool, iTunes, in order to fix this issue. Do keep in mind that this method may actually cause data loss, and this is not going to be reversible. So if you've already backed up your data previously, I mean, you don't need to worry too much about this. Otherwise, you would end up losing everything. So just go ahead and download and install and then run iTunes on your personal computer and then connect your iPad, which is stuck on the Apple logo, remember. Since iTunes might not identify your device because it's stuck at the Apple logo and not booting up normally, you will be required to boot your iPad in recovery mode for, uh, for iTunes to be able to recognize it. And to do so, just go ahead and press a 
the power button and the home button simultaneously and then do not release them at the Apple screen. Uh, keep pressing them until the iPad shows you and that you're finally in recovery mode. And it's going to be a very particular screen. Uh, you're going to recognize it as soon as you see it. And a pop-up will now appear on the iTunes interface asking you to either update or restore the iPad. And then go ahead and click on restore and then wait for the process to be done. Restoring an iPad might seem like a tedious method, but it is actually a very useful one and will help you uh, just like it has solved the iPad stuck on Apple logo issue for many other users in the past as well. And so that is another a very well recommended method that I can endorse for sure. And that's it. Now, thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, just make sure that you leave a like and leave us a comment and subscribe for much more content moving forward. And now, until next time, enjoy.